All right, guys, you get a moment of truth. <laughs> look at that mouth. Oh my goodness. We've got a moment of truth. <laughs> That's so funny. Moment of truth of unboxing here. Uh, I got this package coming in from New Orleans. My friend sent me some bananas. Um, let's see how it worked out. The package, uh, I don't know. I hope they're not uh, totally smushed. It looks a little wet right here. But these bananas are so much better than store-bought bananas. Oh my goodness, I love them so much. Let's, uh, I'm gonna open this up and we'll see what it looks like. And boom, it's looking pretty good. We wanted them uh, where they have a little bit of time to ripen. So this one still needs to ripen a little bit. This one looks pretty ripe, honestly, look at that. These bananas are like a hundred times better than the bananas you get at the store. So the store-bought bananas are an abomination compared to these bad boys. They're so sweet. Oh, yeah. I'm going to give a shout-out to my friend, Robert. My dude, Montgomery. Oh, yeah. I'm going to so enjoy these. Thanks so much, my friend. Ba-boom, ba-bam. Bunch of bananas. <laughs> I'm stoked, can't wait to try them. Sweet. Well, today's Sunday, and I've got these bananas from New Orleans, and I can only think of one way to properly set myself up to eat them, especially on a Sunday. Missing that uh, second lines out there, uh, dancing in the street to the brass bands for hours. And so I got my headphones in, gonna go for a run. Gonna go for, uh, do some dancing here <laughs> in the New Orleans spirit, and then enjoy some bananas when I get back. Go check it out. Sweet. Just got done with this run, <laughs> celebrating like a second line Sunday, Woo. sweating it up. I remember sometimes in New Orleans I'd be more sweaty than this, I'd have to wring out my shirt three or four times just wring it out because it was completely drenched in sweat. <laughs> oh my goodness. And I've got my banana, at least one of the bananas over here. Oh, oh yeah, sweet banana from New Orleans. Man, I miss New Orleans so much. So much uh, music, community, culture there. Oh my goodness. So, <laughs> can't wait to get back there. This is like a, it's like a memorandum treat. Yes. Is there somewhere I can put this? I don't know. It's hard to open this with one hand. What should I do, what should I do? I don't know. Maybe I can set it right here. That'll work for a minute. Ah. Once again, thanks to Robert Montgomery. He's out there busking, making a living, playing some music. Uh, if you get a chance, visit his Facebook page and give him a tip or something. Uh, thanks so much for these bananas, man. Nice, awesome community member <laughs> sending me out some bananas because he has some extra from his tree and I love him so much. Mm, 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 mm. So sweet, you have no idea. Yeah, they said they stopped um, bananas in the store. They're not the best bananas, they're kind of second rate bananas. And they used to have a uh, story I've heard is they used to have lots of varieties of bananas. And then uh, one year something happened that destroyed a bunch of crops of bananas. So they stopped um, mass uh, making all these varieties of bananas and went with something that uh, is not that good but at least it's more stable. But uh, this banana is almost like, a, almost like a dessert or something. It's so sweet. Mm. Mm -mm -mm. Fresh off the tree, it doesn't get better than that. Straight from New Orleans. Well, I'm gonna enjoy the rest of this. Mm, so good. If you get a chance and you're in New Orleans, Try to ask if you can find your local bananas anywhere. <laughs> it's a cool experience. 
anyway, uh, thanks again. Thanks for tuning in. Uh, stay active, stay fit, stay healthy, take your vitamins, spread the love. Love you guys. Peace.